Okay, now let's talk about the microstructure that develops in a eutectic system, because this is pretty cool. So first off, let's look at alloys for which there's just two weight percent tin. So at room temperature, it's polycrystalline with grains of alpha phase having a composition very, very, very high in um, lead and very, very low in tin. So at this point, way up here in the liquid region, it is just mostly a liquid lead with a little bit of tin molecules mixed in there, but they're just a perfect mixture because it's liquid. As I cool, I'm going to begin to form these alpha grains inside of the liquid um, liquid matrix. So liquid is holding the alpha grains. As I get to this point, I've now completely solidified and I am mostly lead, but there will be some little dots of tin in here. Very, very few because it's only two weight percent tin. Now let's look over here. So I'm going to go to a higher um, weight percent of tin. So I'm going to start with this complete liquid, which means it's all mixed together. I can't really see one from the other. Then I'm going to begin to form these alpha grains in the liquid matrix. So these alpha grains are regions that are just mostly lead. They might have a couple of tin impurities but they're mostly lead. And I'm going to completely solidify. So I have all these alpha grains and there'll be some tin inside of them, but it's not actually forming any particular structure in there. It's an impurity at this point. Um, later on, we're going to have actual microstructures where there's order to that. But right now it's just completely disordered. There's some tin in there, but it's not doing anything special. And then as I continue to cool, all those tin atoms are going to begin to solidify. They're going to actually um, come together and start forming these larger little mini grains inside of my alpha grains. So they might have been completely dispersed before, but now they're starting to gather together. And so I'll have regions that are tin, mostly tin, and I'll have most bigger regions that are mostly alpha. Okay, let's look at one other point, and this is when we're at that eutectic point. So when we're at a eutectic point, we create something that is amazing. It's a eutectic microstructure, and it's called a lamellar structure because it's going to have these alternating layers or lamellae of the alpha and beta phases. And this is amazing. This is really good because there's a lot of beneficial properties at these eutectic points. So just like always, I'm in the liquid region, completely liquid, just all mixed together. I can't see one from the other. There is no order. There is no structure. And then I go beneath that point and you'll see all these individual grains which have these alternating layers of the alpha and the beta phase. So the very, very heavily tin and the very, very heavily tin, sorry, lead and the very, very heavily tin phases. And so these phases are going to have phases that are 18.3 weight percent tin and then 97.8 weight percent tin back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And depending on the temperature, that's going to change what their composition is. And so this is actually a micrograph of that lead 10 eutectic microstructure. And you can see it right here. You see these individual lines and how thin or wide the lines are depends on how it was um, heat treated. How quickly did you cool? Um, what did you do while you were cooling? And there's lots of different things that can happen there. But as you can see, those lines do form and it gives us beneficial properties. Um, if you're wondering how they grow, it's simply because the tin is going to find its way to the alpha phase and the lead is going to find its way. Sorry, the tin is going to move away Sorry, from the alpha phase because that's mostly lead and the lead is going to move away from the beta phase and jump onto the tin. And so they're going to constantly be moving out of the way. Um, and finding a layer right here for lead or right here for tin where they belong, where they're happier, where they can actually um, dissolve more readily. Okay, now let's look at a point that's not over here in this alpha phase, not here at the eutectic point, but somewhere in the middle. So for this point, when we're between you know, the alpha side and that eutectic microstructure, so somewhere in between, 
Um, I start as a liquid, no order, no structure. I reach this point and I begin to have these alpha grains form. So I have the liquid and those alpha grains form. I continue to cool and those alpha grains get stronger and stronger and bigger and bigger. But I still have a lot of liquid. And then I cross that line and what you're going to see is I will have two different types of grains. I will have my pure alpha grains, but then I will also around that have that eutectic microstructure. The pure alpha grains and then that eutectic microstructure. And it's kind of amazing how much of a change happens here because just above that eutectic temperature, um, my weight fraction of alpha and liquid is 50%. So just above it, 50% for both of those. And then just below that, just below that, my weight fraction of alpha has changed to 73%. So that's why we see these um, grains in here, these pure alpha grains inside of it. And then we have this 27 um, weight percent beta phase, which is actually in the lamellar structure. Now, depending on where we are, either to the left or to the right, things change. So directly at that eutectic point, we are at what is called a eutectic composition, and we have eutectic microconstituents. But we can be hypo-eutectic, which means I have less tin than I need, and I'll start forming these alpha grains right here. You can see them in the micrograph. There's these alpha grains. There's all this lamellar structure around them, but because I had too much, or I guess you could say too little tin, or too much lead, um, there was too much to form these nice little grains, and so some of it just turned into this big ball of the lead. However, if I'm hyper-eutectic, I have too much tin. Too much tin over here. So I'm to the right. This is hyper. This is hypo. To the left of the eutectic point is hypo. To the right of the um, eutectic point is hyper. And when this happens, I'm going to have the reverse thing happen. I'm still going to have this eutectic microstructure, but now I'm going to have these beta sections form, which are primarily tin in this case, and they'll probably have a smattering of lead atoms, but that lead will not be structured. It's just randomly assorted. Um, so that's why we still call it, you know, beta phase, even though it's got lead in it. It's because that lead is not forming a structure with the tin. It just happens to be there, just like there's probably some dust in there and there's some carbon in there. It's just an impurity at that point. Okay, so that's everything for now. Thank you for listening. Have an absolutely wonderful day.